Hello Tikis. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with replace text test action. Before going to work with this replace text test action, I will show you a small example. If you see on my screen, I am having a text file. In my text file, if you observe that I am having a lot of mistakes. If you see over here, I am going to take a small example over here. If you observe the spelling over here in the power, so we are having double R. So that if you observe everywhere that I am having the same kind of thing in my text file. How can I go ahead and replace this text by using another text? All right. Before that, what I will do, I want to read this text by using read text from file. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. I'm going to select the file path. I'm going to learning text actions. Over here, I'm having power automate desktop for beginners. This is the test which I have just shown you. Let me select that file and then click on open. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to store this entire content as a single text value and the variables has been produced, it will be showing in the file contents. All right, let me click on save. Now after reading the text from the file, I have stored in the file content flow variable. Now what I want to do, I want to replace the text which you have there in the text file. I want to replace that with another text file. How can I go ahead and do that? There I'm going to use replace text. What is the purpose of this one? Replex test replaces all the occurrence of a specified subtext with another text. It also can be used with the regular expressions. In a such a way, if I am going to use any kind of digits or the regular expressions or words that I want to use it, then I can use to find the characters. All right, let me show you how to work with replex test. Let me drag and drop this replex test on the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters over here, text to pass where you want to replace the text. So I'm going to select the file content where I have read it. Now, text to find, which text that I need to find it out to replace. It's a kind of re find and replace kind of thing. All right, first I'm going to give the word over here, the word which I have given, uh, misspelling that I have given over there, right? Power. If you see over here in that power, I'm having two hours. I want to replace with with the correct spelling that is power. All right. Now this is the replace with. All right. Now if you see the other parameters over here, regular use regular expressions to find and replace, ignore case and active ex escape sequence. I will explain you one by one about this. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to text to find if I'm having this kind of power with the wrong spelling, then I have to correct it with the word with the correct value, all right? And if you see the variables produced, it is going to be replaced with the variable that is replaced. All right, let me click on save. Now, once the correct value has been placed in the output, then what I have to do, I have to write the text again, right? Write text to file. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the file path, the same path that I'm going to select it. Click on open. Now, inside the text file, what I have to write it? Text to write it. That replaced one, I have to write it, right? Let me select flow variable as replace. And then if you see over here, if file exists, overwrite the existing content. Right now, the file is already exists so that I'm going to overwrite this one. All right, let me click on save. And to know the flow has been executed successfully or not, what I will do, I will use a display message to display as the output. All right, let me drag and drop this one. And I will say, flow and after message to display flow executed all right let's click on save now by using replace text we are having some mis misspelled power is there we are going to use the correct word to replace it all right let's run the flow flow execution started and you can see over here in the file contents you can find the values what are the values have been there and after that what are the replaced one are there you can go ahead and you can see that all right flow executed successfully now let me click on okay now let me open the text file to see the output now if you see over here previously we have wrong word over here now it has been entire text file has been replaced with the correct word 
all right now i will show you some other parameter for the replace text that is ignore cases if you see over here i have given whenever i am going to use p caps that is case sensitive i am going to give it in some cases i don't want to consider that cases in that case what i will do i will use ignore cases let me select that let me enable this right now i'm already having power in my text file right i will add some more word over here as microsoft power wherever i am having power i will replace with microsoft power and then what it will do it will replace everywhere in everywhere wherever you have the power it will be replaced with the microsoft power all right let me click on save let's run the flow flow execution started and you can see flow has been executed successfully let me open once again the text file now if you observe i'm having power if you see previously i had microsoft power automate but i have added for the power i have added microsoft as an extra word all right now if you see previously i had power automate desktop now everywhere it has been replaced with the microsoft power automate now if you observe over here i don't want to keep the case sensitive in that case even if i'm going to use lower case also it will check and it will replace the values over there all right now we'll talk about the regular expressions i will give you a small example let me open the text file once again if you observe in my text file i'm having digits over here you can see module 1 chapter 1 chapter 2 and so on you can see action 1 action 2 and so on wherever i will find the digit over there like numbers i will find it i want to replace with some other characters or some other values how can i go ahead and do that over here what i will do i will use regular expressions i will make it enable over here and after that text to find i will use regular expression over here what is that regular expression slash d this is nothing but wherever you will find the digit over there you want to replace some other value i will say that to make you understand i'm going to just giving replace with this is the this is the this is the text i'm going to give it as number all right now let me click on save now let's run the flow once again flow has been executed successfully now to make you understand let me open once again the text file you can see over here previously i had module 1 right now it has been replaced with number and also chapter 1 it's a number has been uh, you know the digit has been replaced with number whatever the text i have given it over there all right in the same way you can use any number of regular expressions to replace that one also and based on the requirement you can use the regular expressions for and suppose if you're if the names are starting with s and then you want to replace all the names who are starting with s then you can go ahead and you can replace the text based on the regular expressions all right now i will show you one more thing over here with activate escape sequences what does this mean i will do one small example i'm going to find the text microsoft in my text file and after that wherever you will find the microsoft as a word okay i want to replace with slash t thing it's a tab i want to replace with the microsoft all right so if i'm not going to give activate escape sequences it will be considered as a text if i'm going to activate this activate escape sequence then it will be considered as a tab over there all right tab or new line these are the things escape sequences which we have if i don't activate this escape sequence it will be considered as a text all right to show you that one what i will do i will use tab over here and i will activate the escape sequence and then i'm going to click on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution has been completed successfully now let me open the file once again now if you see wherever you have the microsoft it has been replaced with the tab all right now i will show you one more time i will take some other value wherever the power is there i will replace with some other value all right now i am going to select power and if you see i am going to i am not going to select activate escape sequence let me disable that now what will happen it will be considered as a text value all right let me save this 
let's run the flow. Flow has been executed successfully. Now, if you see, wherever the, we are having the power, it has been uh, you know, replaced with the slash T because of it's considered as a text over there, not as a escaped sequence. All right, I hope you understand how to work with replace text test action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.